This is national now. 70% used for irrigation, not home use. This is overall, residential and commercial and industrial. 22% used by industry and roughly 8% used by household. Well, you can see that irrigation not only is landscape irrigation, but it's crop irrigation. It's what the Central Plains uses to create all that wheat. It's all the irrigation that's used. So you can see that when they try to put an emphasis on the irrigation, they're going to save huge. It was the first step they took. All right, so we're going to get a chance to talk a little bit about water foot footprint. 20 years ago, we called this embedded water. And what it is, is it's hard to read. The volume of fresh water used to produce the product sum over the various steps of the production chain. So when we get into this, it literally means, um, for example, 22 gallons for a slice of white bread. So it means the water to irrigate the grain, the water to use to clean the equipment that that wheat was processed on, the water to clean the equipment that that bread was baked in. Okay, So all of the water from start to finish, when it gets in your hands, the sum amount of that water is what they're referring to as virtual water or water footprint. Uh, all right, so here's some examples. And some of these numbers are just staggering. 2,700 liters for one cotton t-shirt. So when you take that t-shirt and you stain it and you don't want to wear it anymore and you throw it away, you just threw 2,700 liters of water away. Staggering sums of water. 140 liters for a cup of coffee. 2,400 liters for a gram of chocolate. I'm sorry, 100 grams of chocolate. 100, I'm sorry, 1,500 liters for one kilo of refined sugar. 180 liters for a kilo of tomatoes. Remember, this is for the watering, to, to grow the product, the processing, and when you get it in your hands. 120 liters for one glass of wine. So when you only drink that half a bottle, not that you guys should be drinking <laughs> wine, but when you drink that half a bottle of wine and it week goes by and you're like, oh, this is no good, and you dump it out, you just threw three or 400 liters of water away. Three or 400 water, liters of water was used to make that and get it in your hands. 2,400 liters for your typical hamburger. And uh, I show this in class at the Plumbers Union, and I had one guy who said it's worth every, every drop. <laughs> he felt it was worth the water. Now remember, that's the, the water used to irrigate and process the lettuce. The water used to feed and, and the beef, to, to raise the beef. The water used for the seeds and for the wheat, for the bun. It's the entire sum process. So it is a staggering amount of water. 16,600 liters for one kilogram of leather. So, these pair of red wings that I wear out every year, every year I'm consuming and throwing away 16,000 liters of water. So the things that we do, the choices that we make in our lives, have a huge impact on the water that's used in this country and the world. 10 liters of water for one sheet of paper. Recycling is great, but I, and in my booth, people keep asking me for brochures. As what I consider a green plumber, and I've been through green training, we don't even have brochures anymore. We don't hand them out. We'd rather email a customer a PDF or a file or a website. We don't even want to waste energy and water on the printed documents, even though it can be recycled. That water is consumed once that product is made. So I would rather not even have the opportunity to waste that water. This is a, a chart showing water footprint in cubic meters per year, industrial goods, agricultural, and domestic water. This is the U.S. This is per person, per capita. So what this means is 2,500 cubic meters, that's 660,000 gallons of water, is used in this country for every man, woman, and child. That doesn't mean you used 660,000 gallons. That means all the water that's consumed in this country for everything that we do, all the manufacturing, all the, the uh, food processing, 
what you use in your home, what's used in this school, what's used for energy production, the water that's used in the power plant, divided by the population gives us this number. And we are pigs. We are absolutely hogs when it comes to water in this country compared to the rest of the world. Some of these other, so China, India, Japan, Pakistan, Indonesia, Brazil, Mexico, Russia, Nigeria, Thailand, Italy, they're using a third what we are in China per capita. Now, of course, that's going to change as they become more and more industrialized. But the point of this is to show that, again, population-wise, we are huge consumers. We've partnered with the EPA for the Water Sense program uh, to use high efficiency fixtures, high efficiency toilets and faucets and things like that to conserve water, which also conserves energy for our customer.